Hi guys, it's Micah from Gusti Leather, and today I want to show you how you can make this simple circular pouch. It can be closed with a simple push clasp, and you can use it to keep your headphones and other small items safe. You will need a piece of strong leather, something to draw with, a pair of scissors, a cutter, and a metal ruler. Also a measuring tape. In addition, you will need a two-pronged prick iron, thread and sewing needle, and the four parts for the snap fasteners. You will also need this piece for hammering the snap fasteners and a rubber hammer. The basic shape of the pouch is a circle, which you can mark with a compass or anything else you have at home that would work. For example, you could also take a glass and flip it to use the top. In this case, I have simply used a thread reel that has the right diameter. You can of course decide for yourself how big you want the pouch to be. However, you should always keep in mind that you still need some seam allowance on both sides. After drawing the two circles, you will need to measure the circumference of the object you used. And then you need to add a few centimeters because you want to attach the snap fastener later. In my case, for example, that would be 30 centimeters. And now I measure this out onto the leather. And for the width, I have simply used my metal ruler, which is about three centimeters. Again, this is up to you. And don't forget that with the width, you will also need some extra for the seam allowance. Once you have drawn the three parts, you can now cut them out. I'm using leather scissors as I have them to hand. I have now cut out the three parts and need to mark where I will later sew the seam. For this, I simply use a two-pronged prick iron and mark it like this along the outer edges. There are other special tools you can use, but this will do the trick. You can't see it so well in the video now, but this step basically draws a fine line along the edges, which I will later use to mark the holes for my seams. I always use the same distance on the outer edges, and this gives me a clean pattern for making the seam later. In addition, hand sewing is much easier if the seam holes have been punched through beforehand. Now I take the prick iron and a rubber hammer and knock in all the seam holes around the edges. Now I have punched all the seam holes and I'll mark the openings for the pouch. I have here an opening of approximately six centimeters, but you can adapt that as you wish. I just wouldn't make it too big, otherwise things can fall out easily. Now it's time to hand sew the seams and I am going to imitate a machine stitch as close as I can. The front and back look the same. To achieve this, I will use a simple running stitch and sew around the pouch twice to ensure a stitch between each hole on both the front and back. Don't forget to leave the opening of the pouch untouched and sew a small seam only at the outer edge so that it looks uniform and sleek. Here you can see the running stitch going in one direction. And then I complete it in the opposite direction to ensure a complete seam. Now I have sewn all the parts together, excluding the opening, of course. And so the only thing left is to attach the snap fasteners. I'll use the fasteners and tools that I prepared in the beginning of the video, or you could use pliers. First, I'll mark the position of the upper push clasp. And I'll make a hole here with the revolving punch plier. There is another video about how to attach the snap fastener. Check it out for a full tutorial. Use the top hole to mark the position for the bottom. And then punch through here as well. Hold the two parts of the clasp together. Place this underneath and secure the push clasp with the matching size driver and a rubber hammer.
and now the same for the lower clasp. Place this underneath again and hammer. If you want to make an even smaller round pouch, you should do this step before you finish the sewing work because it's easier to reach. I have now firmly hammered in the fastener and your new pouch is complete. I hope you have enjoyed watching and DIYing with me. Thanks for watching. Ciao.